This is CBS. Fashion experts were right four years ago when they said skirts were going to go up and stay up for a while. We've been through two cold winters with them now, and women have stuck with their mini skirts. I'm Harry Reisner. I'm Mike Wallace, and those are some of the stories tonight on 60 Minutes. I sincerely hope every mother has read this. It's vitally important. New Colgate with the advanced fluoride called MFP has been shown superior to the best-known Stannis fluoride in reducing new cavities. Dental journals publish the reports of Colgate superiority. Reports summarized in a book concerned parents can get. It was this Colgate book that told Mrs. Eve McDermott what MFP means to her family. I read the summary, and it showed the results of tests made on children in Australia, Europe, and the United States. It's pretty clear to me that new Colgate with MFP was shown superior to the best-known Stannis fluoride in reducing new cavities. I'm convinced it will really help. And the children all like its taste. Write for your free copy of this summary to Research Center, Box 20, Mount Vernon, New York. Ask your dentist about new Colgate with MFP. When the sun sets in Miami and you're ready to go out on the town, there's a lot of town to go out on. Eastern makes it easier to go there with more flights from more cities than any other airline. And vacation plans that are surprisingly easy to afford. Eastern makes it First I got a headache, and now I have an upset stomach. No, first you've got the upset stomach, now you've got the headache. Mm -mm -mm. First you get a heartburn, then you get an upset stomach, then you get the headache. Mm -hmm. No, you get a heartburn. I'm dying, and there are you. Whatever you get first, get Bromo Seltzer, the double duty seltzer that relieves both headache and upset stomach at the same time. My headache went away. Your upset stomach went away. Heartburn. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, Winston tastes good Like a cigarette should Yes, Winston tastes good Like a cigarette should Winston tastes good Like a cigarette should Winston Blink. Adjust. Scratch. Cough. Your control center tells you what to do. Like cough when you have a cold. But it doesn't tell you how to keep from coughing. Unless it knows about New Sucret's cough control formula. The non-habit forming lozenge that works at your control center. When the urge says, cough, cough, suppress it with new cough control formula from Sucret's. Luxury. Feminine luxury few women will ever know. This is luxury. Calgon bath oil beads, so rich in precious oils. Suddenly your skin feels satin smooth, soft and delicately scented. The ultimate in luxury. Calgon bath oil beads, yet so inexpensive. With all the pain relievers in the world to choose from, doctors most often recommend one specific ingredient for headaches. Two Anison tablets have more of this specific pain relieving ingredient than four of the other leading extra strength tablets. The others contain additional pain relievers, and two is the recommended dosage, but you should know that two Anison contain more of this specific pain reliever than four of the others. Next headache, take Anison. 
When a virus cold hits you, your world can't stop. To keep going, you take aspirin for headache, an antihistamine for runny nose, and a decongestant for stuffiness. But not all three of these medications are concentrated in Dristan tablets. So when you can't stop, Dristan helps keep you going. Honey, I don't know how you do it. And with a virus cold. Oh, I feel all right now. Do everything you can do for relief of virus cold miseries. And take Dristan tablets. There are several worlds this magazine meant to touch on and has not. And the world of fashion is one of them. Like a lot of men, I look at the fashion pages once in a while, and most of the clothes are nonsense. They don't have any relation to what women really wear. What a lot of fashion people seem to be designing is not so much clothes as magazine articles. For instance, two years ago, when they were talking about topless bathing suits, I was sure none of the women I knew would wear one, or even two. Right now, we doubt very much that any of the women we know will be wearing the see-through styles that are being pushed by the designers. They may wear dresses with a few discreet holes in non-critical areas, if that's the style, but nothing more. We do have to concede, though, that the fashion experts were right four years ago when they said skirts were going to go up and stay up for a while. We've been through two cold winters with them now, and women have stuck with their miniskirts. They froze in many cases, but they didn't lengthen their skirts to keep their knees or anything warm. I didn't think it would happen, and I was wrong. In looking back, I can see where I made my mistake. In the first place, our theory that girls with homely legs wouldn't wear them was wrong. We thought no girl with heavy, unattractive legs or skinny, unattractive legs would call attention to them by wearing short skirts. What we didn't realize was that the girl who did not have beautiful legs called more attention to them by wearing long skirts that covered them than by wearing short skirts like everyone else. And then, too, it turned out, much to our surprise, that most girls don't have perfect legs. So what's happened is we have changed our standard of values. We accept legs, in fact, that we wouldn't have accepted when we were just dreaming about the legs under those long skirts. The second fact we didn't take into consideration was the anatomy of the leg itself. When skirts went to the knee, we said, that's it, they won't go an inch higher. We were wrong again. It turned out that the knee by itself doesn't look very good. Attached to the shin, the calf, and the foot, it looks like a leather bag full of marbles. It isn't attractive at all. The knee, we now realize, is not the top part of the lower leg, but the bottom part of the upper. When skirts rose to the point where that became obvious, the whole woman looked better. We do notice now, with a touch of sadness, that in the latter part of the winter of 1969, women's skirts appear to be headed down. At this point in history, of course, there's no place else for them to go. These have been good times, though. And if it turns out I'm wrong about see-through dresses and topless bathing suits, as I was about short skirts, I'll try to learn to accept those with the same good grace. I'm Harry Reasoner. I'm Mike Wall. Then get hip to this. Twips available only in TV Land. I'm Mike Wallace, and those are some of the stories tonight on 60 Minutes.